Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know this guy. This is Jay. This is your weekly announcements. If you'll take a minute. And... Announcements with coffee. Yes. That's what we're going to start. Announcements with yep, coffee. We, we renamed our show. It's called so Announcements with Coffee. So share this on all your platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Graham. Uh, okay. Uh, what's that other thing? YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Uh, share it on all your platforms, whatever you have, and that way we can get the word out. Got a couple things going on today. Uh, Jake, why don't you start? You've got... Um, well, they're not going on today. They'll be going on You're such a different literalist. days. So, You're just yeah. a literalist. Hey, this Sunday, man, at 2 o'clock, I've got some folks that want to connect. And uh, we talked about small groups on Sunday, and many of you are still looking for a group, still looking for a way to connect at 2 o'clock. We're going to uh, hang out, connect, do a short discussion over Edward's message. And uh, hope... hey, speaking of that, I'm starting a new series this week. I know. It's called The Relationship Playbook. I, so I, it's, it's going to be I, good, dude. I it's going to be good. I wrote it. I know. Uh, so email me, Jake, at summonheightsfellowship.com if you're interested in that. Also, February 21st, we're going to have membership. I'm excited about that. If you want to know more about Summit, if you've had questions about membership, or if you just want to know what we're about, we really dive into vision, our strategy, the structure of the church, things like that. You can be a part of that as well. Expectations, what they can expect from us, what we expect from them. It just kind of goes all in there together. And Man, it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. I wrote that too. <laughs> You're a brilliant man. That's I did. Amazing. I there, there is no. There's end nothing to I this can't do. Talent. There's None. nothing and I humble. can't do. He's humble too. That's the amazing thing. This, yeah. Um, hey, we are starting a new series this week, uh, Relationship Playbook, and we're going to be talking about the power of your words and uh, talking about how to fight fair uh, and even talking about how to forgive over the next three weeks. We're going to run 48 Toss Power Trap. Uh, something like that. You yeah. said Playbook. Uh, yeah. So, anyway, don't miss this Sunday, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Uh, children's Ministry is at 11 o'clock. Uh, don't forget about that. Invite someone. If you're home and you're on the platforms and you're joining us on YouTube or Facebook, uh, invite as many people to that on your You don't pages. have to invite them to your home. Just no, invite them to invite watch. Them on the watch. Yeah. Uh, do a watch party, that kind of stuff. That, that'd be a cool way to do that and interact uh, while you're there, just engaging with people on that. So uh, can they still sign up for small groups right now, Jake? Yes. Jake at SummitHeightsFellowship.com. There's also a link on our website when you go to our small group page. You can click that link and fill out a little form. That goes into my inbox and the Facebook page. There'll be uh, an update go out today on the Facebook page with the link as well. And re-engage the marriage. Is it full? Or uh, still... It's getting full. I know they had spots for, for two more couples, and we sent out a link on Tuesday, I believe, Monday or Tuesday. And we've already had like three or four couples ask questions about it. And so, but if you still want to, I mean, if it doesn't hurt, let me know if you want to go through that. We'll get you in touch with Paul and Woody Kay and see if we can get you in. Cool, cool. Well, you know, last week we introduced one of our staff members, uh, Paula the Glue Woodson. And uh, hopefully you got to give her a hug this week or reach out to her or thank her. We're going to introduce another one. I'm of excited about members. this step. This is by far the most unique ministry that we have going on at Summit Heights. No doubt, no doubt. And uh, he's also, I think he's our youngest staff member. Is that right? Uh, on staff? I, I think that's right. Either him or... It's, I think it's him. I think, it, yeah, I think so. Oh, man, Jenny's pretty young. Oh, that's, oh, I forgot about Jenny. That's true. That's true. Uh, David Bright, our youth pastor. Dave, come in and join us at the table What's here. Up? Um, uh, you really are going to wear that hat, aren't you? Well, I try uh, not to take fashion advice from Duck Dynasty. Yeah. Uh, that's a good point. You know, I like that. Now, David Bright, <laughs> we brought him in from Arkansas. We bought him a pair of shoes and got him in shoes. And, and jeans. And jeans. Um, and so we're really excited about that. He One of the things about David, he does have a full set of teeth. Uh, so that was important from Arkansas. Uh, and no, I love you, man. Uh, Dave is doing a great job uh, here at Summit. He and his wife, Lauren, uh, joined us from Northwest Arkansas. Married outside your family. Yes, that, yes, that was a good thing. That's only, I think that's south of Little Rock is where that happens. Oh, okay. I think they're north of Little Rock. So no, it happens where we're from. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so, David, how long have you been at Summit? Hey, let's, well, hang on what? a second. What? what does he do? He's our student pastor. Dude, this is the most, he's a youth, he's in youth ministry. And I'm fascinated about this ministry. I'm fascinated about how you're going to bring 
us adults and make us more youthful, how you're going to be able to do what Ponce de Leon couldn't do, find that fountain of youth so that we can all get that extra spring in our step. Why don't you explain to the yeah. folks what that looks like? Sure, and I think you might be a little bit confused on what exactly we do with Summer Heights with Youth Ministry. So we're really, we're engaging those that are already young, like teenagers and stuff like that. And so what we wanna do is we wanna pour in the life, and it's just really cool to get to watch students grow and develop. So one of my favorite parts um, about student ministry is just simply watching a student go from 13 to 18 and that massive amount of change that happens between that time whether that be their maturity and how they handle things or their maturity in their relationship with God there's just really not a better feeling than watching a student graduate when they're 18 and at the same time it's one of the worst feelings uh, to watch that student kind of graduate out so, I know that I know that feeling dude, what about going from 36 to 46 I've got back pains my knees hurt when I try to jog and David, I need yeah, this found you're welcome to my world you're gonna have to, that's what this is for me uh, welcome to my world so you Thursdays. minister to youth yes, you don't yeah. make us feel more youthful no I'm that's sorry. In, that's actually interesting. I probably make you feel older that's interesting so, so you've been at Summit now how long, Dave? About three years. A little over three years, okay. yeah, actually. Three years. You and Lauren married, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I and, hope so. Uh, Mine's a check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lisa, so you were this morning. So uh, y'all don't have children yet, we do but not. you have a cat. And this is interesting. Yeah, we do have a cat. Um, Dave and Lauren's cat, you can go to Instagram on their pages and you can see this cat. It is the longest-legged cat I've like ever cats. seen in my life. I don't either. But yeah. that cat, I've never seen <laughs> You know what's cool to do? It's you can crazy. toss cats out two-story windows, and they say they always land on their feet. We could try that with mine. This video is probably going to get taken down um, because <laughs> of stuff like this. But I'm, I'm just telling you what uh, I read on the internet. So, 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 Dave, tell me. We asked Paula this last week. Yeah. I know. Besides having the greatest boss in the world, what is your favorite part about working at Summit? Oh man, you stole my my idea there. Um, so I think really probably what drew me and my wife to summit is you know just as much as you look for a church my wife and i had to look for a church when we were mm -hmm. got hired on at summit you know we were interviewing with other churches along with summit and the thing that really stuck out to us is when we showed up and edward was in sandals shorts and a collared shirt uh and we showed up and the fact that he just came and he gave us a big hug didn't even know us this was great yeah this is great this was, extreme, folks, yeah, so this was it was just extremely relational the day that we showed up to summit to visit everybody was so nice and uh even though they didn't know if we were gonna get the job or not which you know at that time the fact is they didn't know if they're gonna hire us but they still were gonna love on us like they were gonna know us for eternity and uh i think that that's the biggest thing is just being friendly being relational and those relationships, uh, it's like nothing else when, at Summit compared to other places. Yeah, Not that other place. places do bad jobs all the time, mm -hmm. but you guys just go above and beyond in that yeah. step. So. I remember that interview process well. I remember flipping those coins to see who we were going to yeah. hire, and it landed on you, and we were just so <laughs> excited, man. <laughs> uh, so, Dave, in youth ministry, I know you don't do just youth ministry since this corona thing has started off, yeah. um, and we had to go online. Uh, I want you to know that the camera work, uh, what you see on Sunday mornings in our live broadcast, uh, Dave is one of the guys, one of the lead guys that's made all that happen. Well, he set the uh, whole thing up. Everything. I mean, it, it has learned it. And one of my favorite answers he gave me in the interview process when we were interviewing, you probably remember this, I was asking Dave, um, you know, does do you know this program? Do you know this program? Know how to work this program? And his, you know, his response was, "I don't remember." He goes, "Dude, uh, I'm a millennial." So he knew everything. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he "I'll figure like it out. I'll <laughs> figure it out." You know, and I, I thought it was going but he, he has done an outstanding job in that, and and we appreciate you, Dave, more than you ever know, doing that stuff back there, training training those young guys. I know you had like a, a sixth grader back there this last week. Uh, training him and him watching and getting to run those things and so if you want to be a part of that and uh, be a part of the behind the scenes this is the guy you'll want to talk to on Sunday morning he won't have that ugly hat on he'll actually have hair combed maybe yeah. um, and, and all that but also if you want to help in student ministry you, you, yeah. you'll take volunteers for student ministry oh absolutely uh, yeah. so I know Jake mentioned small groups that we do small groups in student ministry so small group leaders food folks clean up bouncers 
uh, gymnast. Um, sure, we can find yeah. a use. So, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Dave Bright, and um, we, we love him. Dave, what is, and, and we're going to wrap this up because we're over 10 minutes now, what is the worst thing about Summit Heights? The worst thing about Summit Heights? Um, hmm. There's there's not a lot. Let me, let me Chicken. No, I mean, like, really, it's a great church. Uh, you know, the, the, the pastors, they're a little scrubby around the beards. But, you know, apart from that, it's a pretty good place. So yeah, That's a loaded question, man. It's hard to answer that. <laughs> I know. Well, I mean, it's like, if you give me some time to sit there, process, write it down, I'm sure I could come up. Every word's got to And I think that's the thing, right? Every, if you're looking for a perfect church, you're not going to find it. Yeah, don't join it. Uh, right. Yeah, because you're going to mess it up. You know, if you've heard that before, you know, there's... Summit probably has a list as long as, uh, I hope their list is a little shorter, but they have a list just like anybody of yeah. their own problems. But, you know, that's the thing. At the end of the day, uh, we're all messed up. And uh, I like how you say it. We're just, I'm just one beggar trying to tell another beggar where to find some bread. Yep. You know, so. Or some coffee. Yeah. Or coffee. We like coffee. Hey, Summit, we love you. Uh, if you see David on Sunday back there behind the table working that camera, tell him thank you. If you get a chance to fist bump him, high five, even hug him. Don't be afraid. Uh, wear a mask and um, tell him thank you. And uh, hopefully you'll get to meet his little sweetheart, uh, Lauren, who uh, sits in worship and serves and uh, is a part of the ministry as well. But uh, make sure you tell them thank you. Now you know who this guy is. So if you run into him in the hallway, um, tell him hello. Hey, we love you. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Going to start a new series on uh, the relationship playbook, and we're excited about that. Excited about what God's doing at Summit. Share this. We'll see you Sunday morning. Bye. Bye.